Hey, welcome Pinksters. In this course, we are going to learn web scraping using Beautiful Soup. So let us quickly discuss the course structure that we are going to follow. We will begin with a quick introduction to web scraping. Then we will move on to how the web works and then learn how we can work with HTML code. Then we will learn how we can use the requests library and how we can work with user agents. And then we will move on to an introduction to beautiful soup. Then we will learn how we can navigate through the HTML code using beautiful soup. And then we shall learn searching for elements in an HTML page using the beautiful soup library and the find all function. And finally, we will discuss a few examples of web scraping. So without further delay, let us start our quick introduction to web scraping. So what is web scraping? Web scraping is simply a process of extracting, copying and screening of data from the internet. In other words, when we do web scraping or when we extract data from the internet, it is termed as web scraping. So web scraping is also known as web data extraction. In short, web scraping provides us a way to collect and analyze data from the internet. Now, another question that comes up in our mind is why web scraping? Now, there are a numerous reasons that you would want to do web scraping. Some of these have been mentioned on the screen that you can see. You can use web scraping to extract data for research. If you are a smart analyst, then you would rather prefer to use a web scraper instead of manually collecting and cleaning data from the websites. Then you can also use web scraping for collecting product prices and comparing their popularity. Currently, there are a lot of services which use web scrapers to collect data from numerous online sites and use it to compare products, popularity and prices. You can also use web scraping for search engine optimization monitoring. There are numerous tools which are used for competitive analysis and for pulling data from your client's website. And finally, you can also use web scraping for sales and marketing. The data gathered through web scraping can be used by marketers to analyze different products or by sales specialists for selling content and marketing of their products. Now, there are also big IT companies whose business solely depend on web scraping. Let's discuss a real life scenario which might make things more clear. Suppose there's a job site that you really like and it posts exactly the kind of jobs that you are looking for. However, a new position only pops up once in a blue moon. So you think about checking up on this website every day. But that doesn't sound like the most fun and productive way to spend your time. Therefore, instead of looking at the job site every day, you can use Python to help automate the repetitive parts of your job search. Automated web scraping can be a solution to speed up the data collection process. Therefore, you can write your own code and it will get the information that you want as many times as you want from as many pages that you want. In contrast, when you try to get the information manually, you might spend a lot of time clicking, scrolling and searching and a lot of other things which will waste a lot of time. This is especially true if you need large amounts of data from websites that are regularly updated with new contents. Manual web scraping can take a lot of time and reputation. So instead of doing a manual web scraping or extracting data manually, you can use the beautiful soup library and scrape or extract data in an automated manner using a script. So that brings us to the question. What is beautiful soup? Beautiful soup is a Python package for parsing HTML and XML documents. Now you might be wondering why I have used such an image while I'm discussing beautiful soup in Python. But did you even think 
why or from where did the name beautiful soup come from it is actually named after a poem from alice's adventures in wonderland written by lewis carroll and that poem has the exact name beautiful soup that is how this python library got its name hence the image that you see on the screen is alice from alice in wonderland so whenever you think of beautiful soup it might remind you of this image and you will remember where the name beautiful soup came from thus beautiful soup is a python package and as the name suggests it helps us to parse unwanted data or unstructured data and helps us to organize and format the messy web data by fixing bad html and present it to us in an easily transversible xml structure therefore in short we can say that beautiful soup is a python package which allows us to pull data out of html and xml documents now we will further discuss about beautiful soup later on in this course that was enough for this video please join me in the next video where we will be discussing how the web actually works